If you want to launch your own NFT marketplace, then there are a couple of features you have to provide and that will help you to simply scale your NFT marketplace. So you can see this is the project we have built in the course. And now let me show you that the one feature you must include in your NFT marketplace. So right now we have listed all of this NFT for sale. So if I click on this NFT auction three, you can see this particular NFT is already listed for auction. So the auction is going on and this auction will end in six days. Right now, I cannot bid in this particular NFT because I'm the owner. So owner is not allowed to bid in its own NFT. So let's come back here and let's try to find out other NFT. So let's go with this NFT five. And here you can see that I'm the owner of this NFT. I can simply set this NFT for bidding. So I can click here, set auction and it's going to open this pop up model. So here I have to provide this two information, the amount I want to start my bidding. So for example, that the amount can be different, like the amount you have set for the NFT for sale, that could be different or you can give the exact amount for the bidding. Okay, you can give any amount. So I want to start my bidding to be 25 NFT to start for 25 and you can click here and you can pick the duration which you allow to provide the bidding. So if you want to go with a one day is minimum to you can go as many as you want, but one day is minimum. So I will go with something like a week. So I'll simply pick this 21. I can click on the set auction. If I click, it's going to open this pop-up model and I'm interacting with the contract and here I have to confirm the transaction. Click on confirm and the transaction is confirmed and here I'm redirect to the my account. So now if I show you to this listed auction, click here, here I will find all the NFT which I have listed for an auction. So you can see this is the NFT which I have just listed for an auction. So if I click here, I can able to find the details about this NFT. So right now it's 18 hours left because the time period we have sent is to 24 hours time. It will start from 12 and it will end in 12. And no one, we don't have any highest bidder. You can see the end date and you can see the starting date. You can see the starting bidding. So user has to bid at least 45 and this the auction is going on. Now I'll come back here. And I can go back to my account and let me show you the details. So if I come back to the listed for an auction and here I have already listed the NFT for auction. So this is the one. If I click on this one and you can see that a lot of users have already bid. You will find all the information. So you will find the description, the category, the token, the price. So this is the exact price we have set when we created the NFT. And here you can see that. So the auction is going on. 18 hours left and here we have this starting bidding so the condition we have in the bidding that one user can bid only one time in a particular nft so right now we have these three bidders like this particular user is the highest bidder you can see that it's 52 and the next user has to bid at least 53 higher than this 53 so that's the logic we have implemented you can able to find the list top three bidder right up here so that's how it's going to look on the detail detail page if I come back to the my account page and you can click here like bid drop bid and here you can see that from this particular account the account one I have bid in different NFT so right now the bidding is ongoing that's why I cannot able to withdraw so if I win the bidding if I win the bidding then I will get a button so if I come back here so once the bidding is over the button will reflect here so like the owner who can complete the bidding and the winner can complete the bidding. Complete the bidding and the fund will be transferred and the NFT will be transferred. But those who have bid and those who haven't won the bidding, what they can do is they can simply come back here in the withdraw bid and they can have a status called auction end and they will have a function called withdraw bid. So they can click and they can withdraw the fund which they have bid in the particular NFT. So that's how the entire architecture would look like. I hope you guys got an idea that how you have to build the feature when it's come to putting an auctions. This one is a great feature which you can include in your NFT marketplace. And this will teach you a lot of things that how you can play with a different data structure because we have to remove the data, we have to assign the data, and we have to keep the track of multiple NFT at the same time with a single user. So this one is really complex, and that will teach you a lot of things if you build this entire project. So again, if you guys want to master like Web3 development, build this one of the phenomenal project, then this is the project you can check, and then I can see you in the course, and we're going to build every single thing from scratch. This is amazing. So make sure to come and have a look at what you're exactly going to build. So that's how you can add the bidding and auction feature in your DAB. I hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to follow and how you have to build this. So with that, I'm into this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.